information derived. Hey everybody, welcome back to War Hospital. I do hope you're having a swell day today. We've got a couple of events here and uh, they, the game's just undergone a patch that fixes most bugs, uh, so, so they say. And it also has enhanced the user experience quite a little bit too. Uh, when we go to these special events now, we'll be able to see uh, a variety of information on the patient card that we couldn't see before. So if I click the patient card, we can now see what this soldier's rank is, and that might influence our decisions. So, for example, if the option to amputate and, you know, amputate or not amputate is there, we may opt to do that instead of spending more supplies or longer amounts of time if the soldier's uh, rank here uh, is is lower or higher, depending on how that, how that goes. So... Um, in this case, because this patient has a three rank, I might want to say, no, 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 save his leg, whatever the, whatever the cost, right? That kind of thing. So, uh, more, more control by giving more information to the player. Always nice to see that. And then we can here have morale go up and on this one, uh, like rank two. So I think I'm okay with extra cost on this guy. Uh, we are going to need to make more Set. stuff. Operation was successful. Because we're using a lot of stuff. When you use a lot of stuff, you gotta you gotta make more stuff. Okay, so lots of different surgeries going on right now. You gotta set rest periods for these guys, and I'm actually gonna get you off of the rest so you could just do this really quick. Um, actually, I'm gonna shift this guy because he's serious. You're good. I'm gonna shift you to serious. Get the serious guy done first, and then we'll do the rest there. Uh, real quick over here, it's like we can just uh, let's do the oxygen for both of you. I think. I might have more chemical patients later. We'll do the oxygen for both of those guys, and that will clear the board uh, for the most part here. Uh, longer operation or just chance it, you know? You can take an extra two hours on him. That's fine. And then morale goes up there. So up to 99% morale. We've capped that out. Looking pretty good. Uh, on the engineering front, we are getting closer to having the depot completed. We're at 79%. Then we're going to go into compression badges, and I think I might just, you know, swap one guy in there. Uh, we are doing manual, uh, I guess, uh, configurations here. We're, we're doing manual management of uh, the engineering team. Uh, I am leaving nurses on eight-hour shifts in the operating ward, and they are still getting dog-tired or just have lots of stuff to do, I guess. Medical teams are kind of the same way. Uh, this guy was on the verge of collapsing before his shift was done. I don't know about that eight-hour shift, whether it's even effective. Yeah, engineer was on the way. We'll find out. Uh, we are very close now to seeing the outcome for evacuating villages, and at least the, the next stage of evacuating yeah, villages. You might remember at the end of the last video, we, uh, we tr we're trying to get the villagers out of here before the Germans show up. Right, so over here on the map, there's a group of uh, refugees, if you will, that are just trying to travel to safety. And uh, we've opted to go with the team that's responsible for that at HQ to help uh, evacuate them. And so... Hopefully we can get them, uh, get that going half the time. Now, I think I could probably save a little bit of rations here because I've got 99% morale. And so if I'm going to have 99% morale, I can probably go down to half rations for a little while. Take that little bit of a hit, right? It's going to only reduce it 1.7% per meal. That's not a big deal. And because we have such great morale, uh, we can afford yeah, to lose a little bit successful. at the and, and sacrifice a little bit of that for the sake of saving food. So I think I'm going to do that for a little while, and we'll just keep an eye on morale as we go. If we lose patience and stuff, that's going to hurt us as well. But I think I'm, I'm willing to take that chance and just manage that just a little bit uh, closer there. Because we might get to the point where... Here we go. We might get to the point where we are desperate for something, and it'd be nice to maybe not get so desperate later on when we need it. Leading the evacuation halfway through the road to the first evacuation site, one of the cart's axle breaks. Ugh. The villagers stop to assess the damage and repair it, ignoring the scout's suggestions to leave it behind. Guided by a hunch, the commander orders the scouts to check the other carts. It quickly becomes apparent that nearly a third of them will break soon. Their axles are on the verge of breaking, and some of the cart wheels have visible fractures. The horses are in no better shape, tired from pulling overloaded carts. The commander looks at his watch. The deadline draws near. All right, so we can force the villagers to leave the broken carts. That doesn't seem to give us anything. If we try to salvage what we can, the salvaging carts will take an additional four hours of work. The scout team will acquire 250. Yeah, I don't, we don't really need that much, though. We don't need it. I think we just leave them behind. They might not like it, but they'll get to safety. 
The villagers protest. They say they just need a little time and many of the carts will be repaired. But the scouts know that they have no time and all of their possessions will mean nothing if they're dead. Using persuasion and violence, they force the villagers to move. The deadline is long past. When the scouts and villagers make it to the first evacuation point, the clearing is empty, marked by tire tracks and broken carts on the side, many full of abandoned possessions. The scout commander looks at the villagers and then checks his watch. He creates a plan. If nothing unexpected happens, they could make it to the second evacuation site. They will need to hurry, but they could reach it in time. Sir, operation was successful. So is that where we're going now? Yeah, here we go. Evacuating villages. Aiden Powell's team continue. Sir, scouts unit have started a new Seems way. like a good idea. All right. So we got a level up for this guy. Jace Richardson. I can't replace flirty. Works much slower with others. Tires faster when working solo. Uh-huh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh, we'll just have you tire significantly slower then. I don't not entirely sure under what situation that's gonna hurt me, but yeah. Alright, pharmacy, we gotta swap you guys out. Good job making those meds though. Uh we, we need them. Uh, let's bring you in there, in there, and there, and there. Let's just swap everybody out here and give people some breaks. Uh we'll get uh I think I'm definitely going to need some more surgical meds. We'll put, bring, give you a break off the alcohol. And then, uh, I think we're, I think we're fine like this. Let's just give everybody a rest. We'll leave this guy in the engineering depot Sir, to see if he can get us that additional 9%. Sir, we lost this patient. Losing patience, man. Uh, decreased cost. Absolutely. And then we're going to lose morale here on the, wow. That is a huge hit. Now it said 1.7% per meal. Now it says 8.9% per meal. You were lying to me. Is this like, wait, this is per meal. Is it talking about like each category or something? Like these guys have a meal and these guys have a meal and these. So it's, it's, you know, 1.7, 1 1.7, 1 1.7. It, is that that? Because it did say 1.7. Now it says 8.9. So if that ratio remains as impactful as it was when it said 1.7 uh this bankrupts my morale right that's that's wild i don't know i don't like it i'm gonna go back to regular rations now um but hey we saved a little bit we had some morale to to, to reduce right Sir, now when we get events that will raise morale we're not wasting it we can we have a little bit of uh extra morale capacity if you know what i mean uh, I'm going to bring you here. I'm going to bring you here. I'm going to bring you over here so I can get those drafts. Put you on the line. Uh, let's get drafts from you. Draft from you. And then put you two on the front lines there too. So give a little... Patient is cured. Give a few soldiers to the trenches. They're strong now, but they're weak so later. Operation was successful. Need to make them stronger later on as well. All right. I think we can swap you out now. Nice job. And then let's put you two there. Let's put you guys there. One there. One on the alcohol. Let's get one, two on the rations. And then everybody else work on this building. And then I think we got enough capacity to start another one. Another expansion. Another upgrade. And I'm thinking maybe, maybe the ADS upgrade. So I can get the ambulances and see how that goes. So we'll try that. And uh, in staff lodging, we'll get, uh, let's see, two of you guys on that on the way all right see if we can try out the Sir, engineers reach the engineering depot the ambulances might help us Sir, doctor is starting hang on uh medic team i can't click it why can't i click it there it goes why are you complaining is it shift change time i don't think so you're you're complaining Sir, engineers reach the construction site i don't get it what's the what's the complaint engineers i can't click these tabs they're they're really it's almost like look like, like, like where my mouse is and then if i if i hold down the mouse here i start moving that nurse so it's almost like they're not lining up it's a very strange thing happening right now all right <laughs> see that like medic teams but it's moving her not all the bugs are fixed in this update, <laughs> but they're hey, I, I break games. That's what we do sometimes. I just, I play in ways that others don't, I guess. 
I play in a way that the QA testers don't, I guess. Uh, here we go. All right, uh, I'm going to let this run for a little bit longer. Well, we don't need to because we got this event happening. We're going to be able to see what happens with the uh, the villagers really quick here. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens with them. And then we'll take a little break and let it play on a little bit more. Okay. All right, villagers. Second evacuation site. Just barely meeting the deadline. The scout team and the villagers reached the second evacuation site. Most of the trucks have already left as the French forces did not want to risk being bombarded by artillery. The evacuation site is now nearly in range of their artillery, and they could mistake the evacuation for a military operation. It quickly turns out that even if most of the villagers' possessions were to be abandoned, there would still not be enough room for almost 30 villagers. The French officer tells the scouts that the remaining villagers must make the journey on their own. But the commander knows that most of them have no way of surviving that long of a journey. He looks at the villagers... There are simply too many elderly and children to even load all of them into the trucks. Give shelter to all the remaining villagers in the hospital. We could do that. Raises our morale. Provides a 10 draft reward for finishing the mission. But we'll take in 30 civilians. Okay. Give shelter to the villagers that will not survive the journey in the hospital. We'll get 4 drafts for that. But we'll take in only 15 civilians. Or offer some supplies and send the villagers on their way. I mean... Morale is good. The drafts are great. 30 civilians. I've, I've been playing the Paragon the whole time, aren't I? Let's give him. Let's give him the shelter. We're at 31 drafts now. And uh, with those drafts, I think I can afford to splurge a little bit. We're going to buy some food rations and alcohol. We're going to grab some chemical supplies. We're going to make... We're gonna make those purchases there. We'll leave 15 of the drafts. We have two staff points now. I want another engineer. Yes, I want another engineer. Um, and then as far as medical teams go, the only other location I can put another one is in the cemetery. So it's not that big of a deal. And uh, I would love to have more nurses. I just it doesn't the game doesn't let me have more nurses. It's really odd how we're at this kind of medical team and the game is kind of running fine with this many medical staff there's not really a need for more of them um you've got tons of room for more engineers you know so it's which makes sense because if you want to stack a whole bunch in there uh it makes total sense to have this many but i just think uh maybe just maybe the game should allow me to have additional nurses because I've got a lot of space for them and I, I I have no way of actually you know getting them so it'd be Engineer nice to have them the uh let's put you on the lines as well I really want to see this go green I'd like to see pump. that all right so uh just longer operation shorter rehabilitation or we just take uh order the strap and it'll be uh, found and removed manually or we can order the use of the electromagnet to remove all the shrapnel. Ah, well, that's going to be better, but it takes longer. Yeah, well, if... Uh, I think we'll go ahead and do it. I think we'll let them have it. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of patients at the moment. New patients arrived. I mean, they're having more arriving, but, I mean, you can see we're not busy. So, you want to take the extra time to do that, you go right ahead and do that. I am short on supplies, though, so... If there's a rank one that takes five meds, I am going to amputate. There we go. Just make the procedures even easier. And we'll go from there. All right. I am going to let this run for just a little bit of time. With our 15 drafts, maxed out housing, not maxed out on the healing yet, uh, we can go ahead and get this now. This is the garage that will allow us to have an ambulance. And uh, we'll go ahead and have this done. We'll put one of the ration people there. Uh, actually, this is staff lodging. Let's have the two that are basically, you guys are basically rested up. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So you're going to work on the garage. All right. Yeah. Now I'll let it run. Site. All right. This just popped up in my face again. It says support for HQ. They've decided to mount a great push on other parts of the front in an effort to break a German defense line. They ask for any reinforcements we can send, and they want us to send 24 soldiers to HQ. So I would imagine that means we're going to have a lot more soldiers Sir, uh, in the future. On top of that, we need to be able to have enough strength on the line here. So, HQ is looking for soldiers. They're not looking for strong soldiers. 
So we keep the strong ones. And we send them the not so strong ones. All right. All rank threes will go to our front line. Everyone else goes to HQ. I think that's how we're going to play it. Because they just want soldiers. They didn't say they wanted high ranking soldiers. So. They want 24 of them. So that's what we're going to have to do. And then that means, of course, that we're going to have a lot of uh, wounded troops coming in here pretty soon, too. So we need to make sure we're staying on top of that. But that's what I try to do all the time anyway, you know, stay on top of these things. All right, let's get you guys switched out. Bring you guys in here. Yeah, we want to make sure we're making enough meds for everybody. The garage is done, which should mean that our medical teams in the ADS, are you guys using... I don't know. Are you using ambulances Sir, now? I don't. I, I don't know how that works. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I think we will anyway. I hope we'll hope we'll find out. All right. This guy's got to level up. Is a Ronald Walker. He's an engineer, and I want you to use up less resources making medicines. We have a lot of our medical teams going all over here to this building, so I'm gonna say we just got a bunch of patients Sir, on that train. There we go. Mostly all stable and good, though. That seems pretty nice. Here's chemicals. We're up to 59 meds. Looking pretty good. And we're both rank three. That's fantastic. Uh, we got this guy who's stable. We'll get him taken care of. And then you get over here. So we have a pretty good amount of medical staff now and, and, and surgeons. Uh, I think at this point in the game, it, <laughs> I hesitate to say it because last time I did, I, I really regretted it. Uh, I can't send this rank one to HQ if I amputate, but that's a lot of meds, man. That is expensive. These guys are expensive, but I've got the meds and I need to send them. So I'm, I'm going to do it. I have enough. We got those extra 10 drafts from that event, which is pretty helpful. I, th I think overall the, uh, the scouts are, oh, here we go. Wait, uh, we just received a request from HQ. Several bodies have been found nearby, likely hit by artillery strike. HQ asks us to provide them with a burial, and if we do so, they'll grant us staff permits. Okay. So we just need one medical team to go that way. You guys are... All right. I've got apparently three on staff on, on shift one, uh, two on shift two, and two on shift three. No, only one on shift three? That can't be true. Ah, here we go. Okay. So apparently I've only got one on shift three. That's a mistake. So definitely sending a shift one person. And then, uh, that's a mistake. So one, two, three. And then on shift two, we have one, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I'm going to shift one of you over to shift three to help out shift three. Sir, operation was successful. Okay. Then we have a lot of these little events happening here. I'm going to go, I'm going to be okay Sir, with the increased cost for now. Right. We need to have as many people going to HQ as possible. Get those drafts, man. So this is a rank one. We'll send that to HQ as well. Let's see the timer here. Uh, uh, we're at three out of 24. It's going to be four out of 24 in a second. And then I think we just got that scout team just arrived because now we're leading the evacuation. So we have a scout team doing nothing right now, basically. And then this is here. The lone farm. A woman is worried about her sister that lived on an isolated farm near the front line with her husband and daughter. She asked the scout team to check on the farm to make sure that they left uh, during the evacuation. That is the only thing on the map. And we will have Daniel Marshall's team. It's going to be a day away. Wow. Sir, scout's unit has started a new mission. It's just like tomorrow. No. Sir, operation was successful. That's my dad joke for the day. It's only a day away. No. Did everyone else get that? You're welcome. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to amputate you. A rank two at nine meds is just too much, man. Uh, and I, I need to send, I need to have people to send. So we'll do that. Uh, you are going there. All right. Yeah, a message for you just arrived. Hello, message. Uh, Major Wells, you fulfilled my request and due to your actions, I was able to return to my duties. This will not be forgotten. I decided to provide your hospital with additional resources. Thank you for the staff points and the drafts. That's really great. That gives us up to four. And also, this here, this proper burial, will also give us staff points. Sir, so the question is, can we get more? Like, who can we get? I, you know, can I get another trauma specialist? Can I get another physician? I don't have the capacity for those. All I have capacity for is another medic team, which is fine, but that's not what I need. 
I need more nurses. I would love to have like one more nurse and I think probably another physician would be good. I'm not sure we're going to have that many in trauma coming in, but maybe. Um, we have 30 drafts right now. I'm going to take five of these meds, these surgical supplies, and a bunch of alcohol. We'll get that going. On the improvement side, I think getting uh bunk beds just to be safe if we get a huge flood of people getting bunk beds will be a good idea this adds the uh plus 10 beds to the ccs and then why don't we go ahead and get full body baths for hmm i don't know if it's worth it like i want to do things that are going to be yeah this is going to be for everyone i like this this thing's for everyone right here. Tourniquets. We'll get you guys working on tourniquets. Let's pull you off of this. We're basically buying those supplies anyway, so we're fine. Yeah. So we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff building right now that will help every station so that if we do get this massive flood of Sir, soldiers coming in soon, site. we will hopefully be ready to go Sir, patient is cured. Sir. with that. Uh, everyone who's rank one is going to HQ. We're sending rank threes to the front lines to help reinforce there. And that's green now. Okay. I can start sending them to HQ. As long as we're green on that next one, I'll, I'll, I'll feel fine. There we go. Morale goes up. We're back to 99%, uh, which means we could save on a little bit of rations, but we're up to 266, which is pretty good. Um, I can afford to use more and we're actually, I would say getting close to the point where we might fill up soon. So. There's that. Let's give uh, you guys a rest. We'll shift you over to alcohol production. And uh, actually, no, I really need these meds, don't I? Yeah, I'm only down to, I got 26 on trauma here. I probably should, I probably should keep making these meds. I, I, I actually, yeah, let's, let's do that instead. Let's do that instead. Uh, and let, let these guys build that stuff as fast as they can. Gas masks on. They're dropping gas. They're dropping the gas. Gas masks on, baby. Probably going to have a bunch of chemical patients now. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get this. Report. Our forces in the northwest and northeast retreated there. There were efforts to launch a counterattack, but it was only partially successful. We regained some ground to the northwest. Ambulance right here. According to the report, we lost the entire eastern district area. And the areas north of the river around the western distributary. And they led Des Lavasses Lake. This does not look good, sir. Sir, we have received a dispatch concerning one of the patients who was recently brought in by ambulance. We got another VIP to worry about then. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at him. Carl von Bernstein. I write you to inform you that HQ requires you to operate on prisoner Obst Carl von Bernstein. Uh, I don't know what obst is. That must be a foreign rank of some kind. I don't know what it is. Some, but one of you guys do, right? Probably Winnie can tell me what this is. I'll expect your comment down below, sir. <laughs> and restore him to health as his well-being uh, was agreed as part of the prisoner exchange between us and the Germans. As he was deemed critical to the success of the exchange, his treatment should be your highest priority. Well, if you would spell priority correctly, then I would. Uh, a German officer that was captured by British forces in April. The initial interrogation revealed that he is the son of a German called Herzog Erich von Bernstein. And uh, heir to the title. He joined the military of his own will and was quickly promoted to the rank of Oberst. I guess Oberst is the, the rank. This must be like, I don't know the German equivalent to a lieutenant colonel or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, German HQ agreed to exchange him and other prisoners of war for five British soldiers and almost a platoon of enlisted soldiers. So he must be really important to them, huh? So if I let him die, we're not going to get our people. Is that what you're saying? I'll put Aaron Carter on it. And uh, this guy's in good condition. So we'll give you to uh, this physician down here. I, I could probably do it. Nah. 
high ranking person goes here. Yeah. All right. So that takes care of the pending soldiers. Great. Great, great, great. Uh, how many people Sir, are was successful. in the trenches? 23. Not bad. And I, I want to see them use this because I just got them this vehicle. And I kind of want to see them. Was so instead of having to bring them down on stretchers, right? They should be bringing them down with that, which is way faster and maybe even allowing more of them to be brought at once. I don't know how that works. Probably not that, but uh, it is what it is. We're going to take a longer operation. That seems that seems fine. Yeah. And then uh, morale going up is is fine. We, we probably should do something that destroys my morale, but gives me benefits in other ways. Um, let's go ahead and reinforce the front a little bit there. Give you to HQ. Give you to HQ. Sir, patient is cured. Patient is cured. We have Sir, no patience. Patient is cured. I have no patience in like, to, to start working on. We're, we're really good here. Increases the chances of operation success by 25%. Yeah, all right. We can improve our chemical weapons. Uh, medical stuff. And, you know, we're not going to improve our chemical weapons to use them. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. We're not going all Agent Orange here. Okay. I'm saying we're going to be able to, to help people recover from chemical weapons because that's nasty stuff. Way against the Geneva Convention. Sir, operation was successful. Come on. Use this. I want to see it. Use the ambulance. No? You're still going to... Well, what's the point of the yeah, ambulance if you're not going to use it? Successful. Seems like a wasted upgrade. That's what it seems like to me. This is my ambulance right there. It, uh, it just left and it came to the cemetery, actually. So I think they... Uh, used it to bring the dead uh, back. And I don't know. They might actually be sending it out to the trenches now. Oh, it turned right here. Or turned left. So it's going to go back to this. But that's my yeah, ambulance. So it, it, it does get used. Okay. I write to inform you that the prisoner exchange was successful. It was decided that your accomplishments should receive a proper reward. And as many prisoners were aware of the hospital's contribution in the matter portion of them will be sent as reinforcements to the 36th division. We believe that this will bolster their morale and loyalty. Good. Reinforcements arrival plus 10. All right, cool. So that will uh, help a little bit. We're still considered good at the moment on that. And I have, again, not a whole lot of patience. Oh, hang on. We got a terminal person in here. Wow. Uh, I mean, if I work on you immediately. No, he's dead. He's dying. Uh, <laughs> uh stable looking pretty good and you're gonna go in there okay uh, i did go half rations once down to 57 percent morale that hits really hard you definitely do not want to do that but i did it because i'm stuck at 99 and i feel like we have all these events and stuff that are doing plus morale and so i figured we might as well take advantage of those always Fabian Grosier. I don't know if that's how you say his name. There's a note regarding this patient from another patient, Matthias Crozier. Okay. <clears throat> Sir, I write to you to implore you to treat my little brother, Fabian. <laughs> treat, treat him first. Uh, he found me in the front to notify me about our mother's death and join the military to fight. But there was a gas attack and uh, we both got exposed to it. I know that he is not a soldier yet, but he is the only family I have left. Aww. He's his little brother. He's not even a soldier. Please rescue him, even if it would have to cost my life. All right. His family fled to Paris at the start of the war. His father and older brother joined the military soon after, and he was the only one who stayed to take care of his mother. His father died in 1917, causing his mother felt to fell ill. And less than a year later, she passed away. He decided to find his brother in the front to tell him about their mother and then join his brother in the military. How'd that work out for you there, sir? We'll treat you real well there. And then it did work out really well. Here's the brother right here. Yes. Sir. Right to you. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same exact thing. So he wants me to treat his brother first. I've got the capacity to treat you both, though. So here you go. You can both get treated. 
you're welcome in advance. Uh, all right, good. So uh, as far as sending people to HQ, we're halfway there. You know, I've, I'm going to send my 14th is going out right now. I can't click him. There's 14 in there now. Uh, I cannot. Oh, right here. Strict. Yes, I want to I want to replace strict. So that would be this one. Yeah, slightly increases morale uh, when they work. Increases morale over time when working. So this is basically the exact same perk. It's just we just don't get this. So I like that because we were getting morale decreases for most of the day because they're on an eight-hour shift. Uh, so now we won't get that morale decrease on that eight-hour shift. Sounds nice. I like it. All right. So that's going to be number 14 out of 24. We need to send 10 more to HQ. And I assume that's by... Let's do the morale. I assume that's by the time limit, of course. Why is it? Oh, hang on. I got some major people tired here. That's what those notifications are. They're like trying to tell me, hey, by the way, we don't want to work anymore. By the way, I gotcha. I gotcha. Don't worry. We'll get you out of there. Get you all rested up. Let's see. You got 15 drafts. I mean, we're kind of good on all of our improvements. I'm not going to bother with the truck enhancements. Let's get more and more alcohol stations. Yeah, we'll send the guy making alcohol to get more alcohol stations going. That's fine. I think we can swap people in and out as they go, but they're, they're really getting real tired. I need to, to look at that. A lone farm. Here it is. The scout team reached the isolated farm where the woman's sister was supposed to live with her husband and a 10-year-old daughter. The house on the farm is partially destroyed, probably bombed by enemy aircraft or artillery. There were also signs of a fire and explosion. There was a fire fight. Uh, the upper floor is completely ruined, but the bottom appears to be stable enough for the scouts to enter. A search of the house revealed a horrible sight. Two adult bodies burned beyond recognition were buried under the rubble. Uh, search the rest of the farm. Further search reveals tracks in the barn. They appear to belong to a child and a horse. Examining the tracks, they quickly conclude that the child must have mounted a horse and fled to the nearby forest, probably trying to reach the nearest village by the shortest route. Understood. Sure. Well, I mean, we can, we can do something about that, can't we? We can track it down. Go track down that kid. You're only one hour away. Couldn't have gone far. Sir, scout unit have started a new mission. They couldn't have, a little kid can't, couldn't have gone far. All right. Um, I mean, there's not much Sir. to do. Oh, personal recommendations. Yeah, we're going to send you to HQ. Uh, there's not... I, left a personal recommendation. I should, probably shouldn't. With one of the patients who was recently brought to the casualty clearing station. There's a whole bunch of... Pres oh, my God. There's a whole bunch of people in here now. When did that happen? Did you guys just come in on a train or what? I was worried about, you know, not having enough soldiers to send to HQ, but not anymore. You can be there. We should probably treat the highest uh, ranked first, but... Or at least, you know, people who are in the worst condition should go first, right? That's how it goes. Everybody gets treated, all right? Everybody. And I'm not even going to amputate because... To be honest, I need you all in fit condition to go back to HQ. <laughs> so uh, I'm doing it for selfish reasons. It has nothing to do with how good you are and everything to do with how good I am. There you go. And then you are going to go there. And then you two, guess what? There are two slots. Who's going to get it? This guy, James Francis Ryan. I was informed. Oh my God, really? James Francis Ryan? Uh, it says he's from France, but that's not true, is it? James Francis Ryan. I was informed recently of Private Ryan's state, his family situation by his commanding officer. With his recommendation, I have sent him for a checkup. Though I am symptomatic or sympathetic, sorry. I am sympathetic to his case. I am duty bound to request his return to the front lines. Despite their older mother's protests, he and his three brothers had joined the American troops dispatched to France. They served together in one unit from the moment America had joined the war. Their unit was assigned to the trenches near the hospital, but after the last battle, he was the only one left. Yep. I guess you could say we need to go and save Private Ryan. 
<laughs> I love the little nods they have in this game. I love it. Tracks. Uh, following the horse tracks, the scout quickly find the bodies. Uh, the, find the body of a horse. Sorry, the animal had a broken leg and a torn underbelly. The horse must have tripped on a protruding root during the frantic gallop and tumbled to the ground, throwing off its rider. A further investigation revealed traces of a small figure clawing away from the horse's body. And following them, the scouts find an unconscious little girl hidden under a nearby shrub. She was a little bruised, and her face bore marks of tears and exhaustion. But otherwise, she appeared to be unharmed. She must have been through hell, the commander thought, while providing first aid. Take the girl to the hospital to her aunt. Says, Find the missing girl is, in fact, an achievement. So, well done, Say, me. Operation was successful. Okay, awesome. So, they'll be back at the hospital uh, very soon. Anything else for the scouts to do on the map? Uh, nope, just 15 hours to get the girl back here. And uh, now the scout teams have, yeah, nothing to do at the moment. But tell you who does have things to do, the doctors. They have a lot of stuff to do, don't they? They're very busy now. I love having so many surgeons. It's great. Uh, put you there. And uh, having 84 meds is very nice, too. Having all these engineers working around and stuff is very nice. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be pretty quick. We'll set the rest period there. And then uh, let's go ahead and have this stable. Got eight meds on that guy. It's so expensive, but I need to send him to HQ. I, I think I have enough to send to HQ here, though. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a timer on this. So the only thing I can think of is just to send it before the 10 day marker, right? Like, I feel like that's it. Just send it before this 10 days is up. I don't know. We're at 66% morale now. And I feel like, I mean, as long as I don't go half rations again, we'll probably be fine with that, right? So tell you what, guys, we're going to leave the video here today. I think we've gotten quite a bit done. We've seen some adventures. We got a, an ambulance working for the ADS now. Sir, operation was successful. Making things a lot more efficient. And uh, we got all of our doctors running. All of our engineers are kind of ready to go again, ready to make even more meds now, ready to get us more alcohol and i can make a lot more now because i just unlocked those extra slots so now we can make a whole lot of alcohol all by ourselves and uh we can probably start getting shifts now because we have so many we can get shifts now i think so why don't we try this we'll do eight hour shifts on food and alcohol although that's not really advised for the food since i don't believe we'll be able to keep up we are getting the drafts and we have to send 10 more people to HQ. So those will come with drafts as well. And I think we'll go with eight hour shifts in the pharmacy as well. And this means that there's always somebody working here around the clock, just making meds. I don't know whether they'll be able to keep up. Probably not. We can always shift it back, but at least with this right now, I don't have to worry about the engineers. I can just let it run max speed and not have to worry about anybody getting tired because it's pretty much taking care of itself, except for the ca casualty clearing station and the nurses. That part, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's 12 hours, eight hours. I mean, I guess I could shift this to an eight hour schedule if I could click it, but I, there's something wrong with it and it won't let me click it. Uh, so we'll do 12 hours for now on that, but yeah. Madeline Lott. Uh, I like your stats already. I don't think I want to change them. Uh, what I want, this has the same icon, so I have no idea what I'm changing that out for. That's lame. And Ambitious has, the, I have no idea which one I would be changing that. Let's just do nothing. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, more War Hospital coming up. Uh, I'm trying to do a mixture of games on the channel, right? And uh, so maybe not every day, right? You guys can see there are other games that I'm playing. Uh, but we're going to take this to the end. So don't don't think because a couple days goes by or so that, I, that you don't see a video don't think that that means oh, there's my strong don't think that that means that there's like i'm quitting or something we're taking this all the way to the end right we're so close there's no point in stopping now we're only 10 in-game days away from the end so thank you for watching we'll see ya bye bye